ongoing research. The very last remark I would like to make, um, uh, Professor Muki Spiegel of Haifa University, my colleague, last year received a grant, a special grant from the Ministry of Agriculture in Israel in order to research Tchelet. What is he researching? What is left now to be researched? It is because to, to, until today, the, and it will continue, the Chilazon of the Tchelet is a protected species in Israel, and we are not allowed to collect or gather or fish the um, Chilazonot of Tchelet from the, Isra from the Israeli um, seaboard. Sea seaboard. We have to import them from other countries in, in the northern part of the Mediterranean. And of course, this means we're depending on the Hasidim of the, of the Goyim to be able to carry out um, this import, and we can't be sure that it will carry on uh, forever. And therefore, um, um, Professor Muki Spiegel is going to try to find a method of growing and breeding the Chilazon of Tchelet in captivity, in, in glass, in, in, in glass um, uh, containers, so that we can produce, first of all, the Chilazon from, grown from native um, which live on the Israeli shore and not in Bulgaria or in some other country. Um, second of all, uh, it will make, it mean we'll be able in a captivity to preserve this um, Chilazon for posterity because um, there have been periods in the last couple of years in which in certain places the it was extremely difficult to find the Chilazon or Chilet in the sea and they seem to have disappeared and seem to have been destroyed. Why? Because of pollution, which is a well-known a well -known scientific um, discovery, um, ecological discovery, that the poisons in the, due to pollution of the Mediterranean are, can and, and have at certain stages um, reduced the populations to below anything that we can, we can use. And therefore we have them in captivity, we'll be able to multiply them whenever we need to. So, and this uh, uh, system, which Professor Schmigel is working on, is called mariculture. That means agriculture in the sea. And by breeding the chelzenot in aqua aquarium, we'll be able to have the amounts to provide chelzenot without any limits in the amounts and in a, a price that we can choose. That is all that I wanted to say. Thank you all for joining us. And I hope you found you found um, my explanations of interest and, of course, question time. And if there's not enough time for all the questions, I'm sure. Uh, I'll be very pleased if you all would contact me by email. And I'm pleased, I would be pleased to share any further knowledge with you.